Hi everyone, let's take a look at problem or exercise 10-22 which deals with entries involved in a trade-in of fixed asset. It's not the greatest screenshot but I think we can read it and make use of it. Um, on April 1st, what is it, Senorita's Delivery Services acquired a new truck with a list price of $75,000 and uh, the company receives a trade-in allowance of 15000 on an old truck. It's a similar type of truck and they pay cash of 10000 and then they give a series of five notes payable for the for the remainder. Um, we, we, th we are then given some information about the old truck um, from the equipment ledger or the fixed assets ledger as it sometimes is called. Uh, the original cost was 48000 the accumulated depreciation as of December 1st, the end of the last year was 32,000. Annual depreciation is 8,000, and we're asked to journalize the entries to first bring the depreciation up to the point at which we're going to trade it in, and then record the transaction on April April 1st. So let's work through that. Okay, what do we know? We need to record depreciation expense, right? We need to record partial year depreciation expense to get the depreciation expense current up to the point we're going to uh, record the trade-in transaction. So we'll record depreciation expense on trucks. And the amount will be equal to what now? Let's look at what they use. What we know is there's 32,000 already um, it's April 1st, it's a calendar year, so three months have been used up. The original cost was um, 48000 Okay, the $8,000 of annual depreciation expense, that's key. Um, we don't even need to know what depreciation method they're using. Uh, because once we get to a year, we use a pro rata approach, which essentially is the straight line approach. So we need to take the $8,000 and then multiply it times the number of months of depreciation we need to record. In this case, uh, it's April 1st, so we've gone through three months. So if we take that times three twelfths, we come up with $2,000 as the depreciation expense. And then, of course, the offset goes to accumulated depreciation trucks. Uh, let me just do one dash, keep it consistent. Okay, and we'll indent that so that we can see it. And of course, give a description. So, uh, in this case, we are going to uh, to record truck depreciation uh, for the partial year. some kind of description. It's not uh, real picky, but it's, it, it's not real critical that you get the description word for word correctly. You just want to describe um, what's involved in the journal entry, and that's proper form. A proper form would tell you to do that. Okay, and uh, we'll just record it in whole dollars. Then on Part B, now we've recorded the depreciation for the three months. On Part B, we have to um, record the transaction that involved the trade-in. Okay, well, we need to take off all the accumulated depreciation that's been recorded on the books. We know we're going to debit that, but let's do the easy parts first. We also know we're getting a new truck, so we'll debit that, and we're taking off the old truck. And there's nothing wrong with uh, listing the entry twice. I've seen it done netted, but we can do it uh, twice. The old truck's book value, that's a pretty easy part, so why don't we do that? It's 48000 uh, the actual cost. And now the accumulated depreciation is equal to the 32000 given in the problem plus the 2000 we've just recorded. Okay? What else do we know? We've given up cash of 10000 if we've had to give up cash, that means it must be credited. 
so we've put a cash amount in there and we've also agreed to pay them with a notes payable or with notes payable looks like we're giving them five notes payable for the remainder and um, the total new purchase price is seventy five thousand so let's come up with that value and here's how I would come up with that value I'd say it's seventy five thousand the other um, value we're giving away is the 10,000 in cash and the fifth, uh, let me do it this way, minus the 10,000 in cash and then we also need to back out the 15,000 trade-in allowance that they're giving us. Okay, so that comes to 50,000. Now once we have all that we then have to make the determination of do we, do we record a gain or loss on this transaction? Okay, now what I want to do next is talk about the calculation of gain or loss so we can f finalize um, the entry we need to make for Part B. And what I've done is I've worked a little schedule ahead of time called a calculation of gain or loss. Okay, so let's bring this to light. The first thing we want to do is we want to indicate, and I'll do the schedule right here in this blue area, the price paid was 75000 And then we need to talk about um, the value given up. And the value given up consisted of the 10000 in cash, right? And then also the 50000 of notes payable, which was given in the problem. and the book value. Now how did I come up with the book value? We take the 48000 of the old truck, the original cost, less the accumulated depreciation to date. Okay, and that comes up with, if you will, the book value of what's given up. Price paid 75, book value 74. That means we have a preliminary gain, right, of a thousand dollars. Okay, then we have to ask the question, is this a similar asset being exchanged? And it is. They tell us in the problem the trucks are similar. And that tells us that we're not allowed to record a gain. So then we have to determine which value do we use, the 75000 or the or the 74, the value given up or the price paid. And we use the 74. Okay, so once we have that, I'm going to bold that because that's really the value we want, we would plug that in as the new value for the truck. And now we want to see do our debits equal our credits. All right? And I'll just do a quick sum here uh, just to show you that they do. Okay, so the sum of those is 108. And the sum of those is 108, so we've done the entry correctly. And the last thing we need to do is just uh, jot down why we made the entry to record the exchange of an old truck for a new one. Boy, my typing is really rough to this morning. And that takes care... Let me slide back up now. And that takes care of exercise 1022. I hope you find this beneficial, everyone.